After helping both Gwen and Phyllis get to main towns, it was clear that the sanctuary itself was going through a massive reshuffle, restaff and management. Noticing their situation, I offered our services uh, as a setup, and before we knew it, both Shelley and I were living in a caravan for the first two weeks, purely focused on setting up systems to help the 21 horses that needed our attention. These guys varied from size, age, and also welfare themselves. To look after the horses to the best of our ability, we needed to create systems from the ground up. These included the purchasing and budgeting of machines to manage the fields, so ragwork control, harrowing, topping and clearing. Poo picking systems so that the park is cleared of poo twice a day to control worm counts and enhance the daily well-being of the horses. Feeding methods of both hard feed, which is completely sugar free, and hay feeding methods that minimize any wastage. The study and observation of the herds to have the horses together in the most peaceful social compatibility. I'd have to say I did feel a little bit like I had Cupid's arrow for the first three months. Staff employment and growing volunteers lists. And if any volunteers are watching this now, thank you so much because without you guys, we wouldn't make this happen. Project management for site development, rescuing and rehoming policies, establishing local connections for wholesale purchase and community awareness, preparation of the horses for events, outgoings and fundraising, and of course proudly showing people around the park to enhance public relations. And of course, to get to know the horses on a very personal level. All of this, as you can imagine, has taken a huge amount of physical labor to make it happen. One of the biggest changes was the field structures and building of tracks. So this little diagram is just to show you the idea and the concept that we started with. Now, normally, these are trees, by the way, um, Normally, a field is broken up into little squares and little gate systems. And that's a very conventional way of looking after horses. So these little purple circles are the horses in fields. Uh, we didn't really have the opportunity for this. We needed to be a little bit more creative and also for the horse's sake. So, for example, this horse could interact with that one if they're close to the fence. But what about this one and that one? That was going to be very hard. So we were looking for a solution that would help both the horses and the land. So to do that, we created a track system. A track is literally a track that runs around the fields themselves uh, with bigger areas in some places. It incorporates a tree for shade. So that's one track. This is the second track. And you can see that We've got two tracks now in this big field and a field in the middle. Our gate systems are intelligent ones where we can move horses from one track to another relatively easily. So here we've got our horses again. Um, this one is in track one and these horses are in track two. But the beauty of this is that they can actually walk next to each other as a herd. So it means that they could be very sociable. It gave them a lot of freedom to be able to move large distances as well, which is uh, fantastic for their fitness and all sorts of entertainment value. It also allowed us that if I wanted to work with this one horse, I could use an extender cable that went straight across the track and this would allow me to work with the horse just on my own without the others being involved. And here you can see me putting that extender track across. This also worked in other areas. So for example, if we had four horses and they all had different dietary needs, 
we could section off the track very easily and they could eat their specific foods. So suddenly we were looking at a whole new concept of working with the horses. Um, for example, if the rain, that's rain by the way, um, affected half of our field, because half of our field is clay and half is sand, we could cut that clay area off, stop the horses from going there, and then the land wouldn't get wrecked. So we uh, adapted the track system. We made it a little bit wider than normal track systems. Our tracks are about 10 meters wide. And it's given us the freedom to do two things. One, look after the horses well. And two, to be able to start to manage the fields at the same time as the horses being on there. So that is a tractor. <laughs> and we could doctor that area so that the horses could um, not be there while we're doing it and then open the track up later. It also gives us some space to be highly creative. So for example, that field in the middle, we are going to, we could later on create our own hay or what we have as an initial plan is to actually have a herb garden, like a doctor field where the horses can come into for short periods and actually self-select the herbs that they need. So um, suddenly our whole concept was taking a whole very new and exciting approach. We sorted our watering systems out very easily as well. We have one big watering system which is buried. The pipes are buried um, so it doesn't freeze. And then we run off a single pipe across the ground so that we can literally move our watering systems wherever we need them to be. So for example, if we did cut off a bit of the track, we could very easily put the pipe over the ground again and there we've got water for the horses. Now this um, is very, very movable and we're keeping a, a very fluid feeling. Horses move a lot, so why shouldn't their environment as well to move to create the best that we can for them? This was also true for our hay feeders in the winter. These are hay feeders that are being drawn now. And uh, we could move them so that none of the ground got messed up. So everything in our tracks is as fluid and as movable as the horses themselves. And here is the result, which is absolutely stunning and very easy to work with. And just gave us an opportunity, not just to allow the horses to be social, but also a place that we can work with them. It, um, we said we would be the setup managers for three months. It's now taken 10 months to get the staffing to come in, which is now going to give us the opportunity to do what we're really here to do, which is to help the horses have peace of mind and train them in a way in which we can undo their past traumas and really give them the best possible life.